Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. This is your brother Hisham Saleh welcoming you to another episode of Full Moon, the legacy of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. In the last episode, we talked how about how the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam is just a human being, just like the rest of us, and thus we can relate to him. Today, let's look at some other descriptions that the Prophet Allah subhanahu wa taala has described him in the Quran with. Allah subhanahu wa taala says, "بعد عود الله من الشيطان الرجيم." لقد من الله على المؤمنين إذ بعث فيهم رسولا من أنفسهم رسولا من أنفسهم يتلو عليهم آياته ويزكيهم ويزكيهم ويعلمهم الكتاب والحكمة وإن كانوا من قبل لفي ضلال مبين here Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala discusses the favor which he has bestowed upon the believers. He brought to them a prophet just like them. But he also describes his mission. He is here to narrate and relate to us the verses of Allah. him And to purify the believers. And to teach them the kitab, the book of Allah, and hikmah, which is wisdom, or the sunnah of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Indeed, they were fi mumin. Before this, they were straying away, a clear astray from the messages of Allah azza wa jal. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Surah Al-Inshirah, Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Alam nashrah laka sadrak wa wadana anka wizrak alladhi anqadha dhahrak. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, questions the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Have we not expanded your chest or your heart for you? This is the question. Yes, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has done so. With what? With the nur of Islam, with the light of guidance, with knowledge and with wisdom. Alam nashrah laka sadrak, wa wadahna anka wizrak. And have we not taken the burden from your back, the one that weighed you down? And the scholars say that this is the sins which the Prophet Muhammad did before prophethood. Though they were small sins, still Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has elevated them, has not burdened the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam with. Other scholars say that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has taken the burden off of the Prophet's back, the burden of relating this message, narrating this message to the people. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has helped him in order for him to deliver this message to all of humanity and everything that exists. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala then says, وَرَفَعْنَا لَكَ ذِكْرَكَ And we have raised your rem remembrance, your reputation. You know the people of Quraysh when every male child, every son of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa would pass away, they said, this man is maqtu' al-nasab, his abtar. Nobody would remember him because he does not have any male children to carry his name after him. Yet Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala here says, وَرَفَعْنَا لَكَ ذِكْرَكَ How the scholars say, the name of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam has been raised in this life and in the hereafter. Don't you see that whenever a khatib, a speaker, a reminder, a mu'adhin does adhan or give khutbah, what do they say? They always say, Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah wa ashhadu anna Muhammad rasulullah. This is the raising of the name of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam until the end of times. Until the end of times, the name of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam will be raised and it's always mentioned with the name of Allah Azza wa Jal. No favor has been, this favor has not been given to anybody in the Quran except for Allah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَأَطِيعُ اللَّهَ وَرَسُولَهُ So always the name of the Rasul is mentioned with the name of Allah. These are some of the other qualities of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next episode. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Ya Rasul, salam alayka.